Okay, here's a video on identifying the arteries of the cat. And the arteries on the upper part of the cat, which is the thoracic region. We start off uh, by uh, locating the anatomical pos position of the organs. And here, I labeled it, this is the right side, and that's the left side. And again, we're talking about anatomical position of the cat, not of uh, you, the spectator. Here is the heart. And again, here's the right and here's the left. Now we'll zoom in and we will start to identify the arteries of the thoracic region. Okay, here you will see the aortic arch. Here's the heart. And that gives rise to the brachiocephalic, which is the first vessel that comes out of the aortic arch. The other one that comes out of the aortic arch is the left subclavian. Now I'm going to stick to the right side because once you get past the brachiocephalic, the, the uh, arteries uh, as it approaches to the arm are the same on the right side as on the left side. Okay, so uh, here, we, here we go. Here's the brachiocephalic. Okay, here we have the left common carotid, the right common carotid, and here's the subclavian. Now, subclavian uh, has uh, four branches, but I f refer to three of them as the VCT. And the VCT stands for vertebral, the costocervical, which is this one here, and the thyrocervical, which is this one here. Now, the names refer to uh, where they're going, and uh, you can also remember them by the, the letters VCT because that tells you the order that they they branch off of the main artery. And uh, let's review. Here's the V vertebral, which which uh, goes towards the vertebra. C costa cervical. Here's this one, and it's by the rib. It goes right into this rib rib right here. And uh, T thyrocervical, and thyrocervical goes towards the thyroid region, and cervical means the uh, neck. Okay, so that those are the branches of the subclavian. Now, as we get past the T, which is uh, here's a T, which is thyrocervical, it is now called the axillary, and the axillary gives rise to three other branches, and those you can remember by V, L, S. And here you can see them. Here's ventral thoracic, long thoracic, and S is subscapular, which is here. And after you get past the S, it's uh, no longer axillary, but now it's called the brachial. Okay, here, here we are on the left side of the cat, and my left hand is holding the internal mammary. Again, like I said before, once you know the right side, the left side is the same after the brachiocephalic, and when you start off with the subclavian. The subclavian uh, on the left side is here, and again in my hand is the internal mammary, and you can find VCT uh, easily, because it will be within one inch. Here's my marker, one inch there. And uh, here's V, which is stands for the vertebral, which is here, vertebral is here. Over here is costal cervical, because costal is, uh, stands for rib. T is thyrocervical, which is here. And if you look at the direction, it's going towards the thyroid. And again, the name indicates uh, that it's going towards the uh, thyroid gland. And cervical means neck. So that's the VCT. Now, once you get past the T, which is again the thyrocervical, you now have the axillary. And the axillary gives rise to three vessels, main vessels, and uh, that I refer to as the VLS. And if you look here, uh, V, uh, which is ventral thoracic, is broken. So here's a little knob here, if you can see that on the camera. But that's, uh, that's where uh, ventral thoracic was. It got broken when the chest wall was ripped off, like, like so. So the only thing that's left is this little knob that's there. Okay, then, so that would be V. Then L is long thoracic, which is over here. Here's long thoracic. It's 
starting here, and that's long thoracic. And then subscapular, which is here. And again, as the name indicates, subscapular refers to a scapular bone, which is back there. So direction helps you. Long thoracic goes towards like this uh, thoracic rib area. And uh, the subscapular goes towards that bone, subscapular bone, which is back there. And after subscapular, you now have the brachial.